But KSI addresses the beef with his young brother Deji in his latest track Down Like That featuring Rick Ross and SX. So we start by the lyrics of the chorus. This is where you actually see that he's talking about his young brother. At the end of the chorus, he says, I was nothing but loyal to you right from the start. You changed up on me soon as things were getting hard. I've always seen the light despite us being in the dark and you let me down like that. Yeah, down like that. This is uh, alluding to the beef between him and his younger brother. If you look at this extract from Newsweek, it said that uh, Olajide KSI Olatunji and his brother Deji are continuing the recent trend of YouTubers squabbles and drama. On Saturday, Deji released a 45 minute video talking about his brother and the bullying he endured over the years. Deji claimed that KSI never took his side in private with their parents or in public when there was internet beef. Though Deji claimed that he supported his brother through his hardships, the younger of the pair says that he felt that his brother wasn't there for him. I've supported him and I've supported him when he had sexual claims regarding his videos. All those videos he used to do, Deji said in a video. I've supported him in everything, even when he took a long break on YouTube, I still supported him. So basically there's the rest of the text on that. You can just maybe pause the video and go through that. But basically this is what this song is about. It's a message to his brother and it's good that it's a message because it's a song, it's actually whack. Which takes me to the next part of my commentary. I want to explain why Rick Ross should not have been on KSI's track. This is because British and American rap collaborations suck. Uh, like the song is rated by uh, people at 2.11 out of 5. Uh, if you think I'm hating, take a look at random reviews I actually pulled up of American and rap collabos and this shows you that uh, these two types of singers are actually not supposed to sing together. You look at Steph Lone Dawn versus uh, featuring French Montana, Hurting Me, came in at 2.58. Steph Lone Dawn featuring Neo and Baby Resha, Pushback, uh, came in at 2.11. Steph Lone Dawn featuring Lil Baby, Phone Down, came in at 2.57 out of 5. Drake, Wanna Know, Remix featuring Drake, 2.49 out of 5. Skepta featuring Ace of Nast. Ladies Hit Squad 2.47 out of 5 gigs featuring B.O.B. Don't Go There uh, came in at 3.13. Also, the fact that KSI just sucks as a rapper means Rick Ross, if he was uh, self-respecting and wasn't just looking for money or publicity in Britain, would not have actually sang with KSI. KSI also goes on to borrow a scene from the Avengers Infinity War in his latest track where you see him at the start of the track actually falling from the sky in Hulk-esque style. Yes, a lot of stars have fallen from the sky in movies, but why I say this is from the Avengers Infinity War uh, scene where Hulk falls from the sky is where he actually lands up in that warehouse so type of setup. If you check on Avengers Infinity War, Hulk also lands in the warehouse type of setup. This might also be a way that KSI is trying to tell us that, you know, he's Hulk on this YouTube scene or he's Hulk because he just whooped Logan Paul uh, in a boxing match on November 9th. Tell me what you think about that in the comments below. But I think that's what he's trying to say. He's just stolen the scene from Avengers. And then uh, I don't think Lil Baby wrote this verse for this song. The fact that, you know, he was in a fight on the 9th and then all of a sudden they are actually recording and releasing the song kind of gives me an idea that Lil Baby wasn't very uh, prepared for this. I mean, it was so off-key, he was so uh, poor, he wasn't going in line with the structure of the song. Let me know if you think that Lil Baby actually did well uh, with his rap on the song, but I don't think so. And I think he told one or two lies. I mean, he says uh, the belt has VVS stones on it, the spark or something like that. Uh, I'm thinking he's alluding to the YouTube boxing belt that KS, KSI actually won uh, when he was fighting Logan Paul. And this is what tells me that he wrote this verse very quickly because if he's talking about the YouTube boxing belt, he could only have alluded to it in this verse after KSY, KSI sorry, won it on the 9th. So he had about, you know, not much time actually to write that verse because two days later they were actually recording the video. It means maybe they recorded the song the next day it was produced real quickly. Do you think that this song was written over uh, a good amount of time or you think they actually just, you know, put it together quickly in two days? That's why probably Lil Baby sounds not very good on this song. KSI himself doesn't sound good. You know, his voice is not good for rapping, but Rick Rolfs being a professional managed to pull it off. He actually had the best verse on the song. So do you think a YouTube boxing belt 
has got VVC, VVS stones on it. I mean, if you look at uh, the money belt, which was one when uh, McGregor actually fought Mayweather, that's known to be the most expensive belt ever produced for boxing. It's about a million dollars in worth with a lot of diamonds. There's a picture of it right there. Do you think that a usual boxing belt will probably be on the same level and have VVS stones on it? I do not think so. And anyway, going on to the song, the verses are actually full of YouTube war-related uh, types of um, lyrics. He was taking a swipe at Logan Paul and another YouTuber called Ned Buddy. When uh, Case actually says, yeah, yeah, I want that knockdown. Fuck up the system, make it shut down. I think he was talking about Logan. As you know, he didn't get a knockdown in the fight on November 9th, but he was definitely looking for that. And this might actually point to the fact that they are going to fight again another Logan Paul versus um, KSI boxing match. I don't know if you want that. I don't think I want that. Uh, but it looks like they're going to try to milk everything out of that. So let me know what you think about that. And uh, when he actually went against uh, net body it was actually further down in the verse in his verse he said remember what i said when that pussy tried moving with the ops now he back with the blocks nigga he actually meant uh net body they had a beef uh earlier on and net body actually you know stopped youtubing for a while but after the beef came up with ksi he actually came back onto the scene and uh ksi's verse is pregnant with whack lyrics i'm sure people if you actually look at this from a rapping point of view you'll notice that it was actually a poor verse why he's doing this i don't know but probably his fans will just listen to that but to be honest <laughs> that verse is rubbish and then um we again see another theme which is now becoming common in today's music videos something that i don't like which is unwarranted product placements uh you see root ross and his uh sparkling wine belly and where he's actually got the bottle and the stacks of dose not making sense in that warehouse type of scene do you think he should actually have gone to the lengths of actually showing us his bottle of wine probably this is the main reason why rick ross is on this video because he knows that ksi is going to get a lot of views then probably it's an opportunity for him to show the bare sparkling wine but i think it's misplaced i just leave the sour taste in the mouth so this is my reaction to ksi verse uh, featuring rick ross and essex the song down like that i think it's a lame song but it was mainly uh him trying to reach out to his brother which is a noble thing so subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell uh comment below and share the video and let's get talking cheers